Hey, what's up? Today we are doing another Your Stupid video where we look at people making poor decisions in life. And we critique them. I will make some commentary. You know what it is. I, You know I hate these intros. Nova, you do my intros from now on, Nova. Nova? Kobe? Someone else do it. Anyway, this is uh, Your Stupid number 82. Let's do it! I got through the intro. Candidate for most useless drawer. Wow, is that a straw drawer for keeping all your straws? You could keep zip ties in there. You could, uh, what else could you keep in there? You could keep like some sort of liquid, you know? No, that's, that's a bad idea. Just looks like a river to me. I don't know why. You could keep, um, you, you could keep like an extension cord folded really tightly together in there. Why would you have this drawer? Why not just not include the drawer? It's like it had to have the drawer technically to be the full cabin tree, right? There was some sort of technicality and they're like, we can't leave the drawer out. You could have even just made it so that it was aesthetic so you just see the handle and it doesn't do anything. There was a much better way to do this, I think. I feel like you built this drawer just so you could take a picture of this crappy little space. It's also cracked in half already. How did you crack the drawer in half? I think this is my favorite picture on the internet. Here's a couple selling free kitchens. Whoa, okay. And they're just sitting there like, why do people keep taking a picture of us? We're just selling kittens. People are coming up like, okay, so um, how do I turn the cat into a kitchen? You just like add water and it just kind of expands into some furry kitchen. What's going on here? I mean, at least they didn't leave them on the side of the road. That's what I appreciate. Too many people have animals and then like their animals have babies and they're like, well, I can't take care of these babies. So I'll leave them in a box on the side of the road. That is one of the most cruel things you can do. Just Sell them as free kitchens, all right? I had to put my order in for Tim Hortons, okay? My wife's out. I had to order in. I didn't get my order in in time. She already got my food. Dang it. I just wanted a Sprite. I tried to add wedges and a Sprite. My Tesla Cybertruck from Timu finally arrived. Whee! Whee! Wow, that is... Wow, this looks better than the Cybertruck to me, okay? That thing is pretty dang cool. Did this actually come from Timu? Because that would be hilarious. It's just a bunch of metal siding that's been taped to a car. This looks like the Cybertruck from uh, Rocket League right now. That's about the same, right? It just looks like a ramp. Yeah, you could just drive your bike up off of that. That'd be pretty cool. I kind of want to wrap like this for my car. Yeah, dang, you gotta tint those windows, bruh. Put some LEDs on there. It looks like crap, I'm just kidding. Oh, here's another car one. Yeah, that's not the frame. Yeah, the, you don't jack it up from the door. What? You tried to put the jack under the door? See, the thing about when you're raising a car, you gotta put the jack like under the frame, a big hard piece of metal. Something that's not gonna just crush under the weight, under the pressure. I hope this was your own car and you weren't like, oh, don't worry, buddy, I'll fix your car up for you. Yeah, I change tires all the time. And then you did this and you're like, actually, I've never used one of these things before. I just really want to make a friend. You don't want to be my friend? Okay, this guy's an idiot. This guy posted a video saying how I cheated in my GCSE exam. Easy. And then shortly after posted, I got caught cheating in my GCSE exam, kicked out. What? How did you get caught cheating? It, it's not like you posted a how-to guide online. Are you kidding me? Are you that full of yourself? Look at the smugness in this guy's face. Like, oh yeah, I cheated. Yeah. That's not something to be proud of. That just means you're dumb and you don't know the actual answers. I'd be more impressed if you aced it by your knowledge of your brain. What is a GCSE exam? Let's see. Okay, it's a general certificate of secondary education. They are highly valued by schools, colleges, and employers. Okay. You messed up, man. Be smarter. Stop always trying to get an easy way out. Although he was probably so happy to have the views on these videos. He's like, well, it was worth it in the end. Was it worth it? Was it worth ruining your career opportunities? It's a one-time thing. People aren't going to be going to you for advice now on schooling. It's not like you've got this niche where you're going to teach people how to cheat on exams. It's not going to go well. This was not a career pivot. You should have just educated yourself properly. Anyway, let's move on. It's like the smugness of his face almost makes me even more angry. It was full. 1949. Oh, so it's a used urn and you just got to pop the lid off, pour out whoever that is. Maybe there's some instructions in there. Where did they want their ashes scattered? Was it in my trash can? Because that's probably not it. That, you must have really hated that person. Imagine this, it's like they passed away and then like later in life, you find like some text messages from your ex and you're like, what? He cheated on me? And then you give the urn to Goodwill. That's, that's a story I've come up with in my mind. 
20 bucks. I mean, honestly, you should sell it for more. Some sicko knows there's some actual ashes in there. They're going to be using them for like witches potions and stuff. There's a girl on 90 Day Fiance right now that would probably love having this urn. Oh, actually, I'm not caught up on that season. So please, no spoilers, okay? I'm, we're Me and my wife are frantically catching up right now. Apparently the tell-all is lit. Hey, oh, Dr. Clown PhD asks, what's the name of Taylor Swift's body shape? I don't like this little man with the level. That is rude. All right. Oh, people just love to hate Taylor Swift, don't they? Poor Taylor Swift. Or maybe not. I don't know. I don't know that much about her. I tried to do a Taylor Swift video once. You guys didn't like it, so never again. This is one of those ones where I'm not sure if this is smart or if it's dumb. I mean, if you don't have a microwave and you have no other way to heat up your pizza, then this might actually be a brilliant idea. Um, how long would it take for this to heat up? Hmm, you're gonna flip it? Don't flip it, you'll get cheese on your iron, and then the next time you try to do your clothes with the iron, it's just gonna be like cheese, mozzarella, up and down it. You know my kids never liked pizza for the longest time? It's just been like this year that we actually get to have pizza nights now, and everybody eats the pizza. It's throwing me off, I gotta buy more pizza now. What kid doesn't like pizza? My kid. The other, the other one, the younger one likes it. Yeah, my first kid, very, very picky eater. That's so annoying. But she's getting better now. Enough about my children, let's move on. Oh look, a hot dog. Wow, what a good transition. I was just talking about, oh, if someone proposes to my daughter like this, I'm gonna have to lose a lot of respect. This is not the right proposal, okay? Uh, you know what? Oh, maybe their favorite food is hot dogs. Maybe this is their favorite thing is like a grilled hot dog. Imagine you eat it and you're like, wow, what? The hot dog was so good. I don't know what that shiny little onion you put on there was, but it was delicious. A little hard on the teeth, but I just swallowed it right down. Why are you sifting through my poop? I just feel like there must be a joke here, a reason. You wouldn't just do this. Like, I wouldn't, you know, my wife doesn't eat a lot of hot dogs. If I proposed to her like this, she'd be like, what the hell are you doing? I'm like, look, I, it's the food I had on hand. My new favorite image genre. People who buy things at Home Depot with absolutely no coherent plan on how to get it home. Oh my. This has opened up a whole new genre for the You're Stupid videos, hasn't it? Look at this one. What were you thinking with that wood? I mean, they'll get it home, but can we get that one piece that's sliding out tucked in a little better? This one, wow, you added wings to your car. That's cool, don't drive too fast or you might actually take off. You know what, that's gonna work though. Just don't go any, like if you go under a low rise thing, just remember you are the height of a truck now, all right? Don't be going through a drive through like this. Oh my God, this one crushed his truck. You crushed it. You literally were like, yeah, just forklift that on top of the truck. Don't worry. And they're like, really? You know, that probably won't go anywhere though. You, They strapped it down anyway. It's up there now and it's in the grooves, you know? Damn, trucks are not cheap. Oh, you know they were kicking themselves for that one. And this one here is by far the worst. What are you thinking? You're just gonna drag that along the ground? This is when you have to decide, look, this load is not going in the back of my van. I'm gonna have to pay someone to deliver it to my house. You're just trying to save money, but you're destroying the wood. Also, it's gonna fall out the back and it's just gonna hit someone. And then what are you gonna be? You're gonna be going to jail. It's not a good idea, just hire the truck or, you know, take it a little bit at a time. Or maybe just get a friend who has a truck that can actually load it up properly. You gotta plan ahead. That's what you gotta do. Here's a throwback to an interview. I think this was from The Daily Show or something, but uh, Barack Obama had a big part in 9-11. Not being around, always on vacation, never in the office. Why do you think Barack Obama wasn't in the Oval Office on 9-11? That, I don't know. I'd like to get to the bottom of that. Maybe you could just look up that Bush was the president at that time. That is an alarming lack of knowledge. How can you be so confident in your statements and be so dumb at the same time. I think there is a fine line between confidence and stupidity. The most confident people are usually the dumbest. It's good to be confident, but you also have to be self-aware, all right? This video isn't only to laugh at stupid people, but it's also for us to learn how to be smarter, you know? Yeah. I'm trying to do some good here. I'm trying to reverse the stupidity of the world. Please, help me, help you. I'll never get over how people who can't afford to pay for their food will applaud a dude in a gold carriage, but that thing is dope. How do you get a solid gold carriage? Who's gonna inherit that thing? I wonder how much, like if you were to melt down this carriage, how much is that thing worth? How many horses does it take to pull a solid gold carriage? That's gotta be bad on the horse's backs and legs, right? Damn, you have got to have a lot of money and a huge ego to make a solid gold. Oh, break off a leg, 
Give it to the people. Oh, oh, I said I wasn't gonna do any more politics and here it is, a huge political statement. Oh, uh, is that the mascot of America? That's pretty cool. I wanna see this on the flag, okay? I'm just gonna frame this down a little bit. There we go. Now I feel a lot more comfortable with the picture. Look, man, you're just living your life and you are, dude, I, I honestly, this one has left me kind of speechless. You're living your life, that's what you're doing. Not sure this is the life I'd be living, but you look like you're happy. I don't know. It's hard to tell you're wearing a mask. Ladies, if you blank one guy a day for $100, that's $365,000 you made in one year. Girls with degrees not making that. Be your own boss. Women with degrees know that will only add up to $36,500. But congratulations. No, inflation, bro. It's going to inflate. The money's going to inflate bigger. Don't worry. Again, overly confident in your stupidity. You gotta rein it in a little bit and self-reflect. Look at yourself and say, how could I improve? How could I be a better person? That is the key to evolving and continuing to become smarter is looking inward and saying, what can I do to be better? Here's a woman wearing a hat that says, make women property again. What? Why? Hmm, this is a great way to tell me you didn't have a good father without actually telling me that. I mean, maybe she came to this conclusion by herself that she wants to be property, but I feel like when a woman says that kind of stuff about herself, it's usually like on a ground level when their children just like values that are instilled in them from like, you know what I mean? Like they were raised to believe this is the only way of life. Only beta males vote for women, hashtag election 2024. It's just sad seeing, ugh, speechless. It's sad, that's what it is. It's just sad. I wanna be an object. I wanna be property. I don't wanna have an identity. I want to be like a car that you own. Here's a quote. My Confederate flag isn't about hate. It's about honoring the Southern heritage. Nope, it's a hate symbol, hon. I honor my German heritage by eating sauerkraut and potato salad, not flying a swastika from the back of a butt ugly pickup. Go eat some cornbread and shut up. And this is how uh, this video is actually taking a very political turn now. <laughs> I don't like it. It makes me feel uneasy inside. That is always a thing though that I get comments about whenever I say something about a confederate flag being racist, everyone's like, nah, 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 nah. No, no, it's just a flag I love. So I, I don't know, I'm just gonna leave that one there for everybody else to decide on, cause roses are red, Earth's climate is heating. Wife bursts open husband's testicles by smashing them in their wedding photo album after she catches him cheating. Wow, is this a Dr. Seuss book? I wanna read this Dr. Seuss book. It sounds like a banger. She looks so happy about what she did. She's like, yeah, I did it. She is very proud of herself. That is the happiest mugshot I've seen. She's like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna do a couple months. That's fine. He's gonna have deformed bones for the rest of his life. So how did you uh, trap him into that? Like, oh, honey, I know you're just getting out of the shower, but I really want to take a look at our wedding photos. Gotcha. I know what you did with Sally. And he's like, what? It's out of the cell. <laughs> okay, let's not get into detail. All right, and now let's get into these videos. I have three videos today. Pretty good ones. Here's a guy doing some chin-ups on a TV that is mounted way too high. Oh, dang. He's gonna have a headache now. He's fine, maybe. Oh, that must have hurt. You know what is more alarming to me than this guy trying to do chin-ups on this poorly mounted TV? Is that the TV is mounted so high up. Why is it so high up? That is a badly mounted TV. It's like when my friend came over when I first moved in and I had nothing hung up on my walls and I had this one picture that he came over and he just hung it up because he's like, housewarming gift. And he hung it up like an inch from the ceiling. And I had this picture that was just badly hung for like, probably like five years because I was just too lazy to move it. That was my first house. Here's two farmers saving a cow. Yeah, or a bull, is it the same thing? Here's a couple cowboys saving a cow from a tree. Yeah, this is gonna go great, don't worry. Oh, 
Uh, that is an ungrateful rescue. Now I see why it had its head stuck in there in the first place. That's karma, okay? Someone saves your life and the first thing you do is tackle him to the ground. The way this cowboy gets up, you can just tell. This is not the first time this has happened to him. He's like, ah, the third time today that cow's got stuck in that tree. And I love how the cow gets out and they're, they're not even noticing. I'm sitting here watching it like, he's out, guys. He's out. Everybody run. And let's end with this quick one here. This woman taking a nice selfie with a camel. Ow, oh, Kerry, Kerry! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How'd that go for you? What did you think would happen? The camel was chewing on your hair and you're like, photo op. You weren't like, no, it ripped a chunk of your hair out. Dang, that must have hurt. And it just swallowed it down. That camel did not give any Fs. Look at him. Savage. Put a pair of sunglasses on that camel. How did it taste? He just loves the taste of women's hair. Look, if I went up behind a woman and bit a chunk of her hair out, I'd be arrested. Why isn't this camel arrested? Anyway, that's what I got for you today. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. If you made it this far in the video, then you must have seen something you like, right? So leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel so you get more content. I've got over 1900 videos, probably over 2000 now. I gotta check again. I'm gonna get this number right. No, for sure I have over 2,000 videos now because it was like two months ago and I've done a lot since then. So let's say, yeah, so 2,000 videos in my back catalog for you if you subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, other than that, I just love, I just love bragging about how many videos I have. I don't know why, it's just, it's kind of a pride of mine is that I've been creating content for so long. Anyway, let's just get out of here now. Nova, anything to say? Kobe, anything to say? Kobe? No? Anyone? Oh, Nova's coming over. You got something to say? Hi. Give me, give me a kiss right here. Give me a kiss right here. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss right here. Oh, that was my mouth. I said cheek. How dare you? <laughs> anyway, I will see you guys again later. Come up to your screen real quick. Check out my Patreon and my merch. It's all linked in the description down below, and I'm gonna boop you on the boop nose. Unless I got you in the eyeball, I'm sorry. <gasps> Boop.